Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Thanks so much for checking the video out. Today I want to show you a little bit of Pro Tool style editing that we can do within Logic Pro. Now when we're editing drums in Logic, typically we'll go for the Flex tool and we have to turn it on and we have to analyze it. It can be a little bit hazardous, it can be a little bit time consuming. In Pro Tools, there's a really effective way of moving transients and audio around within a region. And I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. Let's check it out. So first of all, let's take a listen to this drum track and there's a couple of hits that are a little bit off. So just around here, around that bar 28. It just slips a little bit out of time. So I'm going to show you how to do this with a few key commands and we can really easily move these transients around within the region and make it sound so smooth. First of all, we're going to go up to our key commands. So we're going to go up to Logic Pro, key commands, and then edit. And we're going to type in slip. So here we have slip right by nudge value and slip left by nudge value. I've got those set to Option, Shift, Command, and Right, and then Option, Shift, Command, and Left. You can put these to whatever you want, whatever isn't already assigned, uh, if there's not already a default key command set up. So with that set up, let's go and have a look at our nudge value. Let's go up to this button at the top left here, and this is the toolbar. Let's click that, and I'm gonna select the nudge value as 10 ticks. This is nothing too small, so that I'm gonna have to press the buttons a load of times, but it's not too big that it's gonna be inaccurate. Let's jump to this section and just see exactly what needs moving. So I think if we actually grab this whole thing, then everything needs moving across because this one, this snare hit needs to be on that two beat there and it's kind of not too far off, but these ones need taken across. So let's try this. Let's just nudge this across until this first kick is where my playhead is. And I think these ones, yep, yeah, it was the whole bar that was slightly out. With doing that, you're keeping the region in the exact same place. You're just moving the audio within it. And then you can create some crossfades either side of it and play your audio and check if it's in time. Cool, sounds loads better. Or if we had it as it was before, if I just get rid of that and just play it exactly the way it was before, then you'll hear how out of time it was. Yeah, really out of time. With Slip, we can be really effective really quickly. Just some short key commands that we can assign once and then they're there for good. Pro Tools style editing within Logic Pro. Yes, it's possible. Thanks so much for checking it out. I'll see you again soon. Take care.